Rest up again my viewers, welcome back to the channel So right now my viewers We have a few stories where we want to cover But first This one Is the one To kick off the one here like a ball my viewers So let us get into it Fire destroy JUTC bus in Bull Bay St. Andrew Fire destroy a Jamaica Ch Urban Transit Company JUTC bus in Bull Bay, St. Andrew, this afternoon. JUTC's corporate communication manager, Cecile Thomas, said while passengers were on the bus, no one was injured by the fire that broke out on the unit around 5 p.m. The source of the blaze is yet to be determined. The Jamaica Fire Brigade confirmed the incident but said it had no further details. Meanwhile, the JUTC is to launch a public awareness campaign against bus vandalism tomorrow. Thomas said in the past, drivers and passengers have been impacted by glass splinters entering their eyes as a result of attack on the buses. In 2019, the JUTC recorded about 90 cases of vandalism. He also said the damage to the bus whether by fire or attack negatively impact the quality of the service provided to the public he said the JUTC has an ongoing fleet of about 250 buses we encourage persons to protect the JUTC buses not to damage them because what it will mean is a lot of inconvenience for persons who wishes to take a ride or in fact even longer waiting hours when somebody needs to get to a specific location said Thomas so right now my viewers it set away but you know we are bringing more updates on that recall for JIF peanut butter over potential San Manila contamination. The public is being advised that a recall is in place for certain JIF peanut butter products due to potential contamination. The product recall has been issued for the JM Smoker Company in relation to the JIF products sold in the United States, Canada, include items distributed internationally. So viewers, we're not sure we're really going on this up, but some peanut arguments. But my viewers will keep on updated. So right now, St. James mother in custody. You know? So right now we are getting to the story. St. James mother in custody. After seven year old son meet his demise. A St. James mother has been taken into custody is now being questioned by the police in connection with the death of her seven year old son. <clears throat> the body of Aiden Rose was discovered in a small banana field outside his home in Bakersten, sent this morning. Rose was a grade 1 student at the Bakersted Primary School and lived in Johnson's Common, which is also in the same community. The police report that the child's body was discovered about 7.30 a.m. and an alarm was raised. A police team was dispatched to the area. Upon arrival of the detectives, the boy was found laying face down in bushes with what appeared to be a chap wound to the back of his head. Further investigation at the scene led to the discovery of some red substance inside the house which resulted in his mother being taken into custody and suspicious of a slap away. Residents have theorized that the child may have been taken out late Sunday night and his body dumped in the banana field. Boy, I'm viewers, I'm not telling a lie, but if the mother really do something like this, she need to be lost somewhere far where them can't find her. Or she need to get dirt. Or put her down six foot six, my viewers. Or you have to turn a weapon 
a cotton tool or whatever it may be for your own son viewers the country is at its end jamaica has gone to a far away where it cannot be recall jamaica gone my viewers straight forward former jlp candidate ryan simpson welcome but no set sentence vacancy the People's National Party PNP say it is willing to accept former Jamaica Labour Party JLP member Dr. Ryan Simpson but has made it clear that there is no vacancy in the South East Centon constituency. Simon was selected by the JLP to contest the seat against the PNP incumbent Lisa Anna in the run-up to the 2020 general election. E was later pulled by the party at the last minute as E would have breached then COVID-19 protocol having arrived in Jamaica from overseas. Simpson was replaced by Delroy Granson who went on to lose to Anna by 31 votes. Simpson attended South Chilani Contestancy meeting at the Cedric Titus High School on Saturday where he met PNP President Mark Gowen and signed his interest in joining the party. Comrade Anna is our candidate in the South East Centre and we are not looking for a candidate so it is not that we are finished for a candidate. We have a candidate. We are not seeking a candidate. General Secretary Dr. Dayton Campbell told the news. So right now my viewers, this is a, a JLP but after him breach some protocol, them kick him out of the camp. So him a try to jump over upon the other side. Now we can get some information and them look a thing about right now the people on the other side don't want him either. So right now I get stuck in a middle. So my viewers just leave some comments down below in the comment section. Sentan man charged for a slap away after allegedly caught on camera with woman. The police have charged a man who was caught on camera leaving a bar in Sentan with a woman who was lighter found deceased. Charged for the death of 30 year old Almario Pringle of Mount Aranta Amarat in the parish. Pringle was detained last week in relation to the slap away of the St. Elizabeth resident, 26 year old Rachel Gilles Glaze. He is to appear in the court next week. It is reported that a missing person report was filed in Runaway Bay Police Station in St. Anne on May the 25th, four days after Glaze was last seen leaving a bar in the company of a man. Video footage. Video footage from surveillance camera led the police to apprehend Pringle the following day. Further investigations led to the discovery of the woman's body in a shallow grave. Jano viewers. It's sticky. Very sticky viewers. Labour are held in St. Thomas Ganja bus freed. A St. Catherine man who was charged with possession of 178 pounds of ganja was freed yesterday following a no case submission by the lawyer courtney foster so raymond Montague, 33 of freed in the saint catch saint thomas parish court mm -hmm. as the crown not could not provide any more evidence against him. So right now my viewers, all the people are get free because what? No evidence. Continue to like, share and subscribe.